25 Main Street, 12L, since 2008. I am a representative of Southtown to New York County Council. Some of you have met me before. Believe it or not, I am here at the invitation of Susan Rosenthal. You may not remember, but we had an email exchange in May about, and I also copied the real board, and it was about the reinstallation of the R.I. Monument on Tram Plaza. I had believed, and I was told, it was a temporary installation, a three-month trial starting on October 8th, which would have ended on January 8th of this year. But in fact, in May, it was seven months, and today it is 11 months of this temporary installation. In May, I asked Susan Rosenthal to report on the impact of the monument. To my surprise, she could provide not one statistic to prove that the monument had attracted more visitors, enticed them to stay longer on the island, spend more money, be more active on social media, nor had it generated more favorable comments by the residents. Not one data point. And in fact, she told me, REOP does not collect that kind of information. She could only cite anecdotal reports by tram operators and herself that tourists enjoy it and take photos. Then she said, and this is a quote, but feel free to speak to the board during any public comment period if you wish them to take action. So here I am today. I have anecdotal evidence too. Hundreds, hundreds of people ignore the monument, and thousands actively detest it. RERA voted unanimously against the monument. Residents submitted comments when solicited by RIA against the monument, and copy Judy Birdie of the Roosevelt Island Historical Society. Comments that Riyak and the board never saw. Many wonder how those comments were misplaced. This is background. Now I have five questions for the Riyak board. Number one, on what date did the Riyak board decide the temporary RI monument would become permanent? Number two, what criteria were used to arrive at that decision of permanent installation? Number three, RERA, as you may recall, voted overwhelmingly and unanimously against the monument. What, what input did the residents have in that decision for permanent installation? Number four, when and how was this decision of permanent installation communicated to the community? And number five, what criteria and what process would reverse that decision? I await your answer. All right, thank you for the uh, statement. Any, any board member want to address this? Okay, thank you. Can I ask a question? Yeah. What, what's the objection? It's ugly, it interrupts the view. It is not attracting traffic to Roosevelt Island because people are already here when they see it. They don't see it before they get here. If the RIA wants to attract more visitors, there are other ways to do it. That one, I would, I would probably agree with the, the question of whether it's ugly or not, I guess is a, is a question of personal taste. No, it's not a question of personal taste. It's disruptive to the view. I wasn't on the board when these decisions were made. I'm, I'm new to the game. Yes, I understand. Your name, please? Dave Capel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'd like a chance to take a look at it myself. Mm -hmm. Maybe talk more about it later. Yeah, I would appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. But thanks. there's no information available at what point the decision was made to turn this temporary installation. Yeah, I, I, I mean, this is new to me, so I'll, I will not, as, as, as David says, we'll talk about it and then uh, see what we're going to do. I'm happy to return. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. Are you going to call to order the meeting?